It's rather, it, 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 it's either you ban out the Rafaela and the Estes so that you really just make sure the queen picks a certain hero that you're okay with, or you just don't care at all. And I think by picking up the Melissa, they're playing on that axis. I like, I actually like this. That's true. And again, Oh My Venus is just one of those people that you can't really ban against. So yep. they they have no problems leaving this guy up until the last pick. Oh yeah. Just has so many, such an ocean of heroes. Also in before. <laughs> They also pick up the Eevee. Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> I, was, I was gonna say unless they pick up the Eevee. It's here. not banned out. So yeah, there's still three heroes. Cause uh, look at it. Look at it this way. If Brenny Sports wants the, uh, wants the queen to play, uh, okay, Eve's out. So Brenny Sports, they most likely want the queen to be playing that Estes, right? Cause there's there's no way that they're gonna be uh, playing Eve here on the side of Blacklist International. So Blacklist is already prepping that idea wherein they can pick up the Eve on the second phase. So they draft these heroes that are strong in, you know, group ops. So Brenny Sports, they're under that impression that if that happens, they already have this Lolita. Because, you know, guess what? The Queen has no heroes left. What would you rather, you know, pick for Blacklist International? The, uh, you know, the Lolita's already out, the Digi's out, Promise is out. There's no one left on the tank here for Blacklist. So I, I feel like both these teams, they're already under that impression that the Queen will be playing that Estes. And this gives Brandy advantage because they, they've already drafted a heavy teamfight lineup. And I think Claude would, would soon follow up, either a Claude or a, you know, a carry for Super Marco. But one thing is for sure, there is that idea where in that last pick of Brand will be critical for them encountering this Estes. I would even dare say that the Kadita is a possibility here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think so. But oh. overall, because of these Never bands mind. of picks. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> these are, these like, are two heroes. Oh, we were man. saying, hey, Mom, you can play this. If they pick that, nope. Nope. It's yeah. Blacklist that bans it out too. Never mind. So what? I am so yeah. sorry, Master of the Basics. What? <laughs> All of this is happening with everything that's happening right now. Basically, Oh My Venus is being forced on a bit of a squishier yeah, yeah. support. And I don't know oh. if they're going to be comfortable with that. Matilda Airlines though. Oh. What oh. if they ban it out for Brent? Because again, oh. if, if, you're in, if you're in the shoes of Coach Ducky and Coach Bren, Queen, <coughs> play Estes. We've prepared this. We are we we do want to fight into that Estes. Now yeah. I, I just have one question. Where does this Fredwin go? Again, by 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 being in the blue side. Oh, 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 this is oh out. Lord! This is out. Okay. So it okay. looks like the only other reasonable choice, unless there's something we're forgetting completely, is the Matilda. Yeah, Matilda. Matilda. <coughs> I'm, I'm I'm preparing. Unless you go for a Minotaur. No, no, no. <laughs> I'd love it. No. There she is! There she is. <laughs> Alright, there you go. Yeah, basically that lines it up. And we kind of just know what the last pick is going to be. It's going to be forcing Edward into a really tanky hero unless he wants to go for uh, a Benedetta. Yeah. Unless. No, th that's Wise we're waiting for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because Edward's already playing oh, yeah, Edward's, uh, Unless sorry. Wise wants to play Joy. Yeah. Also you know. not impossible. No, or the Valentina. <laughs> so for Bren, you <laughs> <Yes>. are... <laughs> Oh, there is a Barats! <laughs> there is a Barats oh, yeah, yeah, Barat. All right, there you go. I actually like the Barats here. So if they go Barats for Wise, I think for Bren... It's very classic. You go... It's confusing because there is already that Fredrin, but you know the Kyle Teasy most likely would want to play an Assassin. Hayabusa is still open. And also, uh, you know, Gushon? Never mind, yeah, Julian. Julian. Okay. Julian's on the rise. We we've can't. seen we've seen more and more Julian in the oh, past. Oh my goodness! All right. Weeks. Scary. Is this a jungle Arlot though? Likely. Unless you're right. No, it's a toss up. Arlot, Fredrin, XP lane, jungle. Julian could go jungle. Julian mid, I think. Then jungle, <laughs> jungle. You never know. You know. Ah. If you might be pulling out <laughs> pulling out some Arlot games in his. Right, <laughs> Archie. If I know El Capitan, he's gonna play the jewel. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's it's the most magic bursty but hero. So. I do like this because these two heroes are great against Barats. Unless Wise goes Guinevere again. Oh, no, it's Alice. never mind. Not right. a surprise anymore. Against one one though, it's gonna suck. The first five or six minutes, yeah, like that's true. there is that chance wherein the one one just you know goes great, goes ballistic it's, it's in the mid game. Gonna be the again. There's a reason why even now, right? Years after her release, she's still one of the most banned heroes in the league. <laughs> That's it's, true. it's just crazy strong, you know, uh, mm. having the ability to just uh, zone away your enemies without even trying to zone them, them away. Just your mere presence yeah. is cra uh, you know, scary enough in a way that they don't want to fight into you, but they have to. And don't forget, 
Blacklist also very much running a very squishy composition. Yep. How's that so squishy composition looking for you, Rockhart? Yeah, that one one's gonna gonna have a fun time. Yeah, man. you're the only you're the only guy that <laughs> went for the agents. Yeah, and for all of y'all who enjoyed our smart power predictions, at some point in the game a poll will show up, and you only have until the timer runs out, folks. Comment your prediction with the hashtag power is smart. One lucky person who guesses correctly will win a redeemable in-game code. Remember, keep an eye out for the poll. All right. I have to I have to play a little uh, on the fence here. Despite the one-one debut, despite the relatively soft lineup the Blacklist has fielded, I think they can pull it off. Yeah, they're very magic heavy, which means they can actually destroy a single target in quite a short amount of time, as long as you know, as long as they aren't gonna ube it up, which will be strong in the early game. But good luck in the late game. Yeah, you know what's crazy? FlapTZ is playing the Arlet, yeah, and we see Kyle TZ on the Fredrin. and. That confirms our suspicions, and this shows a little bit of growth for uh, the young Kyle Saison. I like actually seeing him uh, flex into the non-assassin yeah. junglers. Question is, will he be able to, you know, lane against this joy? Because there's no crowd control. You cannot reset the second scale unless you mess up like Edward just did. So, you know, he qu kind of messed up. Yeah. So he got comboed by, uh, you know, the Arlot. But it's not going to hurt him because he was able to clear the wave. I actually really want to watch that 1v1 because... I'm also seeing Flap TZ's uh, battle spell. It's not Petrify, it's a Flicker. Yeah. Uh, do you like that? Do you, do you prefer that? Uh, uh, a lot of uh, Arlots these days are going Flicker, but I do understand the need of it against Blacklist lineup. Because one problem that you have with Arlot is that you don't have any form of escape. And, you know, the thing is, you have to be confident, you have to go with Petrify. But again, this is quite understandable for Flap TZ to go with, with Flicker. Because just look at the lineup of Blacklist. Yeah. You, you just don't want to die. You need to run away from these <laughs> heroes. Yeah, and so far between Yue on the Valentina and a few on the Julian that's rocking the Megumi Fushiguro skin from ah, Jujutsu Kaisen. So good. I'd like to think Brandy Sports has to push their velocity here. They have to move a little faster. Yeah. Because again, you're playing against the Jungle Alice. Yep, and you know, it takes time. Damage is going to become a problem here for Blacklist come the mid game. But also, that is also true for Brent. Because this time around, you don't have that assassin. Although. Again, I would say that this 1-1 one, one could go ballistic in the mid-game if he ever gets that momentum. And I feel like this is something that Blacklist cannot even contest in the early game because there's a lot of haters that they cannot deal with at the moment. Like, again, the Fredrin, the Julian, even the Arlot. They cannot, uh, you know, they cannot try to contest this because, again, Flapteez is rocking that flicker. Well, we saw the turtle take there quickly by Brenny Sports. Again, they're pushing that early game advantage. Question, though, who's going to... Take more damage. Is it Flap TZ or Edward? Comment down below. Join our little uh, promo there. Down bottom, it's interesting. There hasn't been much action between these two gold laners. That's true. Well, normally we'd see a lot of people just flow to that bottom lane, try to get an advantage over the gold. But not today, especially. I guess it's it's because of the heroes of the junglers. Oh. It, they're a little slower paced. Even Yue getting caught up with a knock up there doesn't really matter wow. as much. I love this. Super Mark are already rotating towards the middle lane. He wants, uh, he wants to do what Alice used to do, you know, the double wave. You get all the all the golden XP on your own lane, and you also get some part of the oh. XP gold in the mid lane. Yeah, speaking of just all of that gold, look at Bren. They're just dominating the control of the even Ooh. the jungle. Kyle even the small camps are being contested by Bren right now yeah. on the side of Blacklist's jungle. I think Wise got that. I'm not sure. It was, uh, it was quite fast. But again, this top lane is a... Uh, you know, a, a hope for Blacklist International. This joy is detrimental to the team fight aspect of their lineup, especially with 1-1 one, one on the back line. You don't want to be playing up against a joy. Although some would say that you are a oh. second tool. Oh, oh that man, of look at this. Oh, my Venus is going to be in trouble here. You went to the rescue, but I think he might pay for it with his life if he's not careful. And Blacklist going to make it out barely. And again, we're seeing where they're lacking here, right, Leo? You're seeing where their lineup is kind of weak, especially yeah. right now. And again, it, it, it's a massive control for Brandy Sports. It's one thing to consider that I have to go fast, but it's another to say not too fast because the punish is very real from Blacklist International. With that being said, Turtle coming up here, and this is great positioning for both teams. Yeah. I'd still give the advantage to Brendo. Yeah, Blacklist though, I, I would say that this is not a bad time for them because They've been able to farm without any contention for Bren, but Edward though. Gotta try to go for oh. it, and Wise will finally get it with the Retribution. Getting out safely as well with the full four man. Blacklist will retreat with Turtle in tow. KOJ getting them timings in. 
I could have sworn the blood flow wasn't off of cooldown. He yeah. just used it to check. Barely, yeah. yeah. And, and so far, so good here for Blacklist. I don't know if this is their plan, but yeah. they're getting the objectives at least for now. I mean, this is the downside of having a Fredrin jungle on Kyle Teasy. You know, the aggression, the timing, the momentum, the pacing, it's all slowed down. And this gives ample of time for Blacklist International to just get their farm and... Oh, oh no. It's a different flow though. Look at that. Flap Teasy could be in trouble here. Agent Zero making his mark with a first blood at five minutes in this game. And what's difficult is it didn't convert to much unless Brent finds something at the bottom. Yeah, that's pretty big. They take out Super Red. That's a lot of gold being taken out from the gold laner of Blacklist. The tower will go down as well. All right. I take it back. That was very much worth it. A tower for oh, a yeah. life? Any day. <laughs> it is. You know, Flap Teasy just made sure that, okay, uh, Edward's here. Oh, you, you go do something there. Yeah, Brand, they're just trying to make something more here, but they might be cutting it a little bit short. Their skills are on cooldown. Oh! Brando will have a huge Luminom Blast locks down to it's Edward all alone against four people. Will he be able to make it out alive? I don't think so. Even as Joy gets taken out by the Wan Wan. There is the timing that we were talking about here for Brand Esports. They just slowed down for the first four minutes. Now they're getting it back up. You know, this is some uh, this is why I love watching Brand Esports play. They don't stop putting pressure on these lanes that are currently weak. And you know, <laughs> Flap TZ, he died on the top lane. Okay, sure. Edwards there. That made an you know an information available for Brand Esports to go for that bottom play. And after that, they converted into the mid lane because they know that Blacklist don't have the oh, firepower to deal man. with them at the moment. They were just recovering from last week's three-man, four-man Numenum Blast from Light, and now it's Ogwin. <laughs> Over again. And maybe that's the point. Psychological warfare, man. Blacklist, though, I, they're starting up that. There you go. Portal, but it's not going to last long. Gets taken by Kalteezy. Similar fashion as the last turtle. Edward. Ooh. Oh, man. Edward. We're seeing how Edward is going to suffer here in this game. And Super Marco, again. He's just so safe. He's so confident here, right? I think it's just a matter of waiting for Super Red as well. That's something that Blacklist has that Bren doesn't. I mean, come late game, this is a scary lineup. But how do you get to the late game? Yeah. It's also a question of how do you fight into Bren Esports, especially with the presence of Lolita oh. on Open. Oh, man. I think he's going to be able to go it. Oh, can he oh. fly? Super Marco pulls it off. Oh, my Venus is going to make it out just in time. But I think it will be Edward going down. Wise going in. Damage is just really lacking here for Blacklist. Yeah. Oh, there's Flop, Flop. Flop TZ. It's a two-man stun. Not enough though, Wise. I don't know, man. The Al is just taking so what? long to kill. Oh, vengeance. This the Arla, vengeance! The Vengeance barely making it. And now Wise all alone here against four people from Bren. And then not going to make it out. Oh my god, Ogwin, did you see what he did? Oh he blocked Lord. the flowing blood, and that's going to be Super Red suffering as well. Oh my Venus, where are you going to go? There's nowhere for you to go. <laughs> Into sure death. Oh my Venus falls, making it four for none. Brenny Sports! You oh mentioned man. it, Carl. The mechanics is there coming up from Brenny Sports. The block from Ogwin, making sure that there is no escape. For Wise, also the timing on the taunt from the Fredbin. There was really no way for Wise to get out of that situation. No matter how great you are, Bren Esports made sure that there was no exit for the agents. Remember this name, Kyle TZ, now ranked first in KDA amongst junglers Sheesh. in the MPL. Oh, he's going up against the best of the best, the KOJ, the best in the world. This is just prime Bren Esports, dare I say. Yeah. Kyle TZ sitting at seven. Black. KDA. That's clean. Now he's about to add more. Oh. Clean as you can get. Kyle Teasy going for the chase. Blacklist not going to go for the bait here. Just wants to go for the push here. Brent Esports seem to be very happy. Edward on the other side of the map. Though. Again, this is the problem with Blacklist International. They just don't have the firepower at the moment. Now, you can say that you can rely towards UA and Super Red in terms of dealing damage. But again, you go back to the lineup of Brent Esports. There is that Lolita. Now, Edward is... You know, a, uh, <laughs> a category we're in, we can t uh, discuss uh, when it comes to a team fight presence. But how do you how do you make a team fight for Blacklist International? Here's what's weird, Midnight. Look at the build that Edward is going for. Usually we see hybrid, right? Yeah. He's built completely damaged. Yep. He's still just building that dominance, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So that explains why he's not exactly lasting as long as he should. Yeah, again, a little <laughs> bit of armor and all everything's just burnt. 
it's a different category that Edward is playing at the moment. Like Blacklist, they're fighting for, uh, you know, heavyweight. Edward had to go for the lightweight. He had to make sure that they had an answer on the early stages, but it's not working at the moment because even if you try to get some backline access, you don't even get to kill Super Marco because the positioning of this one one has been phenomenal. Like Super Marco, always consistent. When it comes oh. to positioning, he doesn't want to die in the fight, but also make, make sure that he is in a place where he can just fight. Fellas, right. you'll see that, that, that RSG emote that Kyle Tizi brought up. <laughs> oh, oh, man. So far, there's just no oh, one that whoa. can catch him. Uh, oh. Here's the, whoa, you that went? was a lot of people flying there. And that's going to be Flap TC going down. Able to, he's not even able to make a mark even with that final slash. That was an amazing play from Yue, the flicker into the ultimate of the Arlot. But it was, uh, you know, it was just the Arlot that died on the side of Brent Esports. Oh. Why? Oh, no! Nice. Nice. You don't want to lose huge. the purple buff on the Alice. Grant that purple, bro. Oh, and, no. And, and it makes so much of a difference, right? Because now Wise has to be a little bit more conservative if they want to go for a fight. Yeah, Black he has to depends turn off, on that so much. He has to turn off that ulti. Oh. You cannot cast that for 24-7 anymore. Until you can. Yeah. And we're waiting for that moment. When is it going to happen? Because looking at the gold, there's a lot of money on Bren Esports. Like three of the th top three are all Bren. But here's what explains what we brought up earlier, right? A lot of damage coming from Edward. Is yeah. it worth yeah. it though? Yeah. That's it. Well, that's what we mentioned earlier, right? Renage is the oh. shield. Renage Edwards the sword. And he is really sharpening it right here. In the middle of five oh, people from Bren Esports playing it around. Goes out with, I love it. of course, the Matilda. I love it. They didn't commit. Ogwin, again, masterful performance. He could have used Flicker there, but they thought, no. We we're gonna wait for the Lord. This is where we fight 100%. We have to have we have to, we need to have all our spells because Blacklist is getting to the moment where they can ca Yo. they can come back. That's a veteran move, right? Yeah, that's, that's a veteran move. That's very very con uh, the way that you play against high caliber teams. You don't commit whenever you see get the chance. You know you coordinate with your team. Can we go? Do we go? Is it worth it? Yeah. Again, going back to the point where Edward has dealt. Majority of the damage for a lot for both of these teams. Yeah, uh, I do think it's uh, it's coming from the factor that you know he has the genius and the glowing wand, which deals through a lot of the HPs that Brent has. But again, you have to convert that into actual team fight. But the brain problem is you cannot even participate on a team fight because you have to control the minion waves. Now, if you go for five B five engagements, your only target is the one one. But you also have to go past beyond the Fredrin, the Lolita, and if you ever get that chance. Blacklist, they cannot even go in straight into the fight because yeah. again, you have to worry. You have to be worried about the Numenon Blast coming onto Super Red, and that's a byproduct of not having enough peel. That's why I was wondering, where's the tank items for Edward? And he's just built one, right? There's a Dominance oh. Ice. He's about to build, I believe, an Athena's Shield yeah. or a Radiance Armor. He needs both. All right, he going up against Brent, who's now what? Eight thousand ahead. Oh Lord, eight thousand ahead with a luminous Lord marching through. Honestly, I was it's so difficult, man. Yeah, I, and there's no one to catch Super Marco, right? Because of uh, the natural purify ability of a Wan Wan. Aside from the fact that there's almost zero crowd control on Blacklist. Yeah. Like, I, what I, do you do? I'm gonna have to apologize, Rockheart. I looked over to your screen just to make sure that Super Marco is leading by four thousand gold. Over Super Red. Red. Oh. That's massive. And they're gonna have to fight him make under sure. the turret here. Don't forget Lord is on the top side. It's actually very, very good for Brent to split this up as much as they can. Get those damage onto the inhibitor. Inhibitor on top goes down. Pretty good damage control by Blacklist though. They could have definitely lost more than just one inhibitor up top. But now it's mid. Yep, Edward, oh, he's red. a lot squishier than you mentioned. Final oh! Flash! Three members are being displaced, but they are able to take out Flap by at what cost? Inhibitor on the mid goes down. All right, they're still going, still Edward. going at it. Edward still in the in the middle of everything. Oh! Remember Super Marco, and the Venus actually makes a difference here. Kyle Tizi, he's on the run from four members of Blacklist, and he gets taken out. Oh, that's all that they could do. I mean. Kyle was just buying time for what was, I'd say, a disastrous outcome. I would have said flapped easy for that inhibitor mid, worth it. But now, Blacklist punishes hard. Yeah, as awesome as the play was coming out from uh, from flapped easy, there was no conversion, there was no follow up, and Ogwen didn't even want to commit the new on blast. So flapped easy died. Now they transition towards the bottom lane, but Blacklist gets what they want. You know that the uh, the division and the team fights. Oh. Ogwen was nowhere near. 
Super Mario and Edward was able to go ham yeah. onto the one one. That's what you want for Blacklist International. If Edward gets his hands on the one one and Brand is distracted towards the other players of Blacklist International, then the, this joy could work because Wise is already soaking up so much damage from the four players of Bren, and Edward can one v one against the one one. Brethren, working is an understatement. I believe it is buying Blacklist back the possibility to win this game. That's I, true. I said corrected. It's it's actually an oracle that he built, which I think. It's better. Yeah. That is better. More sustained. Gets that lifesteal cool back. Cooldown reduction. Cooldown reduction. It's pretty good. Edward really becoming the sword here for Blacklist. But I have to say that that earlier pickup on the Wan Wan, that might have been a once in a blue moon opportunity. Yeah. In this lineup. It was it was pretty hard for Edward to go uh, you know to go on that because everything had to be perfect, you know? Uh Super Mario oh. out of position. Oh Omen my over Venus. Here. Venus Ooh. has to commit so much to get out of there, and that is huge. That's a big advantage for Bren Esports in this coming lord. They go back to the formation again. Ogwin near Super Marco. And to think that Edward also has oh. Venus out there. Ooh. Oh man, that was Damage. close. Again, they're baiting out ultimates here. I don't think they yep. want to go for the Lord. Made the call. That's it. They're going back. That's the call. This is still hard for Blacklist. Again, that late game factor is near. They do have damage now. But in co when it comes to you know positioning yourself in a team fight, it's really hard to do that because Brenny Sports, even if you try to go on somebody, they can react immediately, and yep. they have damage as well. And you saw what happened to Yue earlier. There is that sufficient damage for Brand to just take out one on the side of Blacklist. And you don't want that. You want the 5v5 engagement if you're Blacklist or National, because you have to check that checklist that we had earlier. Edward goes in, four of you fight into the four of Brand so that he gets a soul, uh, you know, a uh, baby time, I would say, <laughs> with 1-1. Baby, one, time. One. baby uh, time? Baby time, <laughs> all right. So oh. on the bottom lane, obviously Super Marco gonna free hit this up. No more inhibitors left here for Blacklist. It's gonna be the fight around the Lord who's gonna pull the trigger here. Altizi, he's trying to bait, see if he can get someone with the energy eruption. He catches Yue, and I think at this point the final slash gonna take so many members here for Blacklist. And I think there's no way they can stop the Bren Esports members. That's a 1-0 for sure. Swift victory.